For thousands of Alberta students, this may have been their first foray into activism. All across the province, they walked out of class to protest proposed government changes to gay straight alliances. Changes they fear could take away a safe space for those who need it. Stephanie Wee reports. Loud and proud, students walk out in support of diversity. I'm really happy that there's so many people that are supporting the community. Thousands left during the first period of Friday classes. Their message pointed at the Premier. Protect students in gay straight alliances from having their parents potentially notified. The reality is not everyone is as safe at home as we would all want. GSAs are here to stay. The movement began during the election campaign. The UCP promised to roll back the NDP's school act that says it protects student privacy. The new government's legislation removes that provision. Education Minister Adriana Lagrange says, We do not support mandatory parental notification or outing of any student. We do strongly support efforts to make our schools safe spaces, especially those subject to bullying or prejudice because of their sexual identity. Premier Jason Kenney says his government will maintain strong legal protections for GSAs, but he is critical of the protest. Great to see young people taking an active interest in issues. Uh, I'd suggest better for them to do, uh, to do rallies or protests after school hours and not during them. But I, I, we want to make sure young people are actually learning in, in class instead of doing politics. This educator helped facilitate Alberta's first GSA 20 years ago and says it can be life-saving. It just seems to me going back in time and uh, really uh, creating a, a sense of chill for students who want to just try to help make their schools safer places. Students say they won't be silenced. We can't do much right now, but we're doing what we can. This is proof of that. Look around. There are so many people here supporting exactly what we need to do. We need to be heard. And that's important. Stephanie is live outside Ernest Manning High School tonight. So, Stephanie, what happens next with the Education Act? Tara, that legislation is also known as Bill 10, and it will be among many items the new government will discuss as the next sitting of the legislature begins May 21st. It's also among Premier Kenny's list of priorities now that he's taken office. Students today tell us that they are not going to wait until they're eligible to vote at the next election four years from now to speak up about the Education Act. Tara. Okay. Students province-wide walked out of class today in protest over the new government stance on gay-straight alliances. Many worried the changes will out young people who aren't ready. CTV's Tim Brooke with more now on that movement. Signs, flags, and chants. We have voices! We have voices! Voices especially loud as student-led walkouts took aim at a new provincial government and its views on gay-straight alliances in Alberta schools. These protests not limited to the capital. Hundreds in Calgary and in Red Deer left their classrooms before the morning was over. Across Alberta, the outcry was the same. We will not be silent about how we feel and about the policies that we will reject. Premier Jason Kenney and the United Conservatives want to replace the NDP's School Act with the Education Act, a move many of these students believe has the potential to lessen protections for those who join GSAs. The changes would allow for teachers to tell parents their child has joined a GSA if the teacher feels the student's health or safety is at risk. Students here called it an unnecessary step. If they are outed, they will get abused. They will get hurt at home. We're keeping our election commitment, which is to modernize the Education Act in Alberta. Kenny argues the swap will maintain strong legal protections for GSAs. Great to see young people taking an active interest in issues. Uh, I'd suggest better for them to do, uh, to do rallies or protests after school hours and not during them. Opposition MLAs, many on site to support the students, not convinced. If he wants to uh, do the right thing, uh, he needs to make sure he protects vulnerable kids. Some of those vulnerable kids reminding the governments they're protesters today and voters tomorrow. We'll be voting in four years and uh, they just need to be concerned with our point of view. Tim Brooke, CTV News, Edmonton. And Alberta's new education minister issued a statement about the walkouts late this afternoon. Adriana Lagrange says, a minister, as minister, I do want to meet with passionate young Albertans to understand their concerns and clarify any misunderstandings about our position. 
Good afternoon. Thousands of students across Alberta walked out of class today on behalf of LGBTQ kids. Now they're leading a province-wide protest against the United Conservative Party's stance on gay straight alliances. Our Tim Brooke is working on this story and he joins us live with more. Tim? Nariman, the snow didn't stop hundreds of students from walking out of class this morning to show their support for gay straight alliances, a system that's set to be altered under a new government. The students left their classrooms for about 30 minutes, many waving flags, holding signs and chanting. The walkouts all in the name of what some are calling an antiquated policy from the new provincial government. Premier Jason Kenney and the United Conservatives want to replace the NDP's School Act with the Education Act, a move many believe has the potential to lessen protections for students who join GSAs. The swap would allow for teachers to tell parents their child has joined a GSA if the teacher feels the student's health or safety is at risk. Students say it's an unnecessary step. We're just trying to raise this conversation about LGBT rights and uh, the right of GSAs and the youth in schools to have that privacy and that right to a safe place. These walkouts weren't just limited to the capital. Hundreds more in Calgary and in Red Deer left their classrooms before the morning was over. And though the new premier isn't in Alberta, Kenny was asked about the mass walkouts in between meetings with Ontario Premier Doug Ford. Kenny said he appreciates students being active, but doubled down on his commitment. We're, we're keeping our election commitment, which is to modernize the Education Act in Alberta and uh, uh, to maintain the strongest legal protection for gay straight alliances in the country. We were sent statements from multiple school boards across the province. While they were quick to point out staff is not involved in the protests, some, including the Edmonton Catholic Board, said they respect their students' democratic rights to exercise their voices. Nairman? All right, well, thank you. That's Tim Burke reporting live for us in studio. Thousands of students across Alberta walked out of class today to defend the rights of LGBTQ kids. And they're leading a province-wide protest against the United Conservative stance on gay-straight alliances. We support the GSA. Outing kids is not okay. Many students participated at schools across Calgary. They coordinated the walkouts to take place after first bell around 9.30 this morning. Many wore colors of the rainbow and held up signs making their voices heard, warning new Premier Jason Kenney not to roll back laws protecting gay straight alliances in Alberta schools. In four years, we're all going to vote, and we got to say, we have some opinions, and we can't do much right now, but we're doing what we can. This is proof of that. Look around. There are so many people here. At Terry Fikowski's live at Queen Elizabeth High School this afternoon. Terry, a strong showing from students today. What have we heard, if anything, from the government? Well, Jocelyn, like you said, a very strong showing here today. Not that long ago, more than 200 students filed out of school onto the street, really filling it here and the sidewalk and sending a very strong message to the Premier. Students say they hope their chants are loud enough for the UCB government to hear and reconsider the proposed changes around GSAs. The movement was sparked during the election campaign when Jason Kenney promised to repeal legislation brought in by the NDP, which affords increased protections for LGBTQ students. Now, Kenney has said he supports the clubs, but it should be the teacher's discretion whether they inform a parent their child joins one or not. Students fear this will lead to classmates being outed. Now, despite the turnout across the province today, Kenney still plans to stick to his election platform. We're keeping our election commitment, which is to modernize the Education Act in Alberta and uh, uh, to maintain the strongest legal protection for gay straight alliances in the country. And uh, certainly people have, uh, uh, it's great to see young people taking an active interest in issues. Uh, I'd suggest better for them to do, uh, to do rallies or protests after school hours and not during them. But I, I, we want to make sure young people are actually learning in, in class and, instead of doing politics uh, outside, of, outside of school during school hours. Now, the new education minister releasing a statement, writing in part, we do not support mandatory parental notification or outing of any student, going on to say she'd like to meet with passionate students about their concerns. And she likely will have that opportunity with many kids here today telling me this is just the beginning. They'd like to keep this momentum going and they have more plans in the future. For now, though, they are back in class. They only protested for about 30 minutes time before going back to school. And they said they did this because their message and their protest is with the UCP government, not with the school and staff who support them. Back to you. Hey, 
Jason, leave us kids alone. Hey, Jason, leave us kids alone. We wanted to show our support and um, for like GSAs in schools, and we wanted to make sure that they would always have a place in our high schools without like a safe space for gay kids. Because of Jason Kenney's new policy, where he wants to bring back the former Education Act, and which which kind of takes away protections for GSAs in schools. It also is a way of preventing kids from joining GSAs if they know that safe place is no longer available to them. Because now that if they have that fear in the back of their minds that their, their parents might find out before they're ready to let them know. Your parents don't get informed if you go to like the tea club or like a different type of yeah. club. So I don't understand why like they're yeah. going to get informed if you go to a GSA. Because that's basically trying to out all the like kids that go to the GSA. Well, certainly we know that Bill 24, GSAs, you can see the kids value the safety and the protection that a GSA and Bill 24 affords. And so, uh, you know, Jason Kenney and his uh, caucus seem bound and determined to out gay kids, to remove that safe place, that safe sanctuary. And uh, we're here to stand together to uh, oppose that and to stop it. <laughs> point of this walkout was for us to prevent teachers from being able to tell parents that their child is in a GSA and we find that teachers are people that we're supposed to trust and that they're people that we're to, we should be comfortable telling about everything that we're going through. The students united will never be defeated. The students united will never be defeated. I think that if teachers are the ones that are telling parents, then that is the most impersonal way for them to come out. Not only is it not safe for everyone, but it also should be up to the individual themselves to decide when. And I guess I'm kind of going against myself by doing this now, but I want to show that this is a real thing. I was humiliated and I felt ashamed and I felt pushed to do something that I wasn't ready to do and this is ex exactly what we're trying to prevent. For one, we have the students too, a little bit louder green, and we want justice for each other. One, we are the students too, a little bit louder green, and we want justice for each other. When I had finally gotten into a GSA, I was out. But had I not been out, it would have been incredibly important for my parents to not know because it takes a lot of time for a kid to come to terms with it themselves. And you can't, and you can't expect a kid to come out to their parents when they can't even accept themselves yet. There are GSAs across the country giving high school students a safe place to meet with peers and talk about sexuality. The United Conservative Party says it supports that aim, but it wants to give teachers the right to inform parents that their child is in a club if the teacher feels it's necessary. The previous NDP government amended the law to forbid disclosure, arguing it could put kids at risk if their parents object to homosexuality. Aaron Collins spoke to protesters today, including one who made a big decision. It's a walkout that spanned a province. Students showing their concern that gay students could be forced out of the closet. And it should also be entirely up to this person, the individual themselves, of when they want to come out, because it's definitely a very personal and beautiful moment that should be dictated by the student themselves and not the government. The organizer of this protest says Alberta's new premier needs to listen. And your message for Jason Kenney. Message for Jason Kenney is please don't go through with this policy. But Jason Kenney isn't changing his mind and he has a message of his own for the students. I'd suggest better for them to do uh, to do rallies or protests after school hours and not during them. I, I, we want to make sure young people are actually learning in, in class instead of doing politics. In Edmonton, thousands of kids ignored that advice. They were joined by the former NDP education minister who enacted the ban on parental disclosure. This idea of outing gay kids um, is uh, unacceptable, not just uh, in the court of public opinion, but, uh, you know, it's definitely the wrong thing to do. In Calgary, the protesters were cheered on by some who came out long before GSAs were a thing. Just seeing this unity, these amazing kids making a difference, it just... It's amazing. 
and also inspiring. Today, while justifying her role in organizing this protest, DeLong came out to her classmates as bisexual. Well, I just sent a message to the walkout okay. group chat and kind of told okay. everyone that way. And I never actually told my parents themselves, so I guess they're going to find out on the news. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.